Uh, good afternoon. Uh, my name is Matthew Fitzpatrick. I'm the Acting Operations Inspector currently at Major Crime. Uh, it's my intention today uh, to tell you as much as I can, uh, but for operational reasons, there will be some information uh, that I will not be able to provide at this time. Uh, just after 4am on Thursday the 7th of November, uh, police and other emergency services were called to number 3 Essex Street at Woodville Gardens uh, after a passerby uh, saw flames emanating from the premises. Um, firefighters uh, forced entry uh, to that house and extinguished a significant fire uh, and during uh, that process they located a man dead inside. The man is believed to be 72-year-old Will Frangus, who lived alone at the house. At this time, uh, formal identifications have not been uh, completed due to the complexities of a fire investigation. However, police are making direct contact with his family members. The fire caused significant damage inside the house, and specialist fire and uh, crime scene investigators are conducting a comprehensive examination of the scene and that was completed yesterday. As a result of that investigation, we're satisfied that Bill was murdered and the house was set on fire to deliberately destroy evidence related to that murder. Police uh, from Major Crime are now leading the investigation and a large amount of resources have been dedicated to this investigation. The investigation is in its early stages, as I said earlier, However, uh, we've been able to ascertain at this time that the fire was lit shortly before 4am on Thursday. Detectives and other specialist police from Major Crime, Western District CIB and Uniform Patrols have conducted extensive inquiries around the vicinity of Essex Street and the surrounding area and have returned today to continue their investigations. The investigation is progressing very well. Uh, despite the fire, uh, we've recovered evidence from within the house and we are receiving excellent cooperation from the community. What is known to us is that Bill was a long-term resident at 3 Essex Street and was a well-known member of the community there. He was known to have a large dog that was protective of him and the house and that his front gate was habitually locked uh, and heavily padlocked. Despite that, what is known to us is that there were regular visitors to 3 Essex Street. At this time, police are maintaining an open mind in respect to the motive uh, for the murder and maintaining an open mind as to who may be responsible for Bill's murder, but is the possibility that the person or persons responsible may be known to him. At this time, we are seeking the assistance of the public to assist us to provide information that may assist to solve this murder. We're seeking, that, uh, we're seeking anyone that had contact with Bill in the last six weeks to contact investigators through Crime Stoppers. Anyone that has direct information in respect to Bill's murder, we are seeking contact with. If you are scared or worried about your involvement in respect to that or information that you may have, we can assist you. Please make kind contact with us and we can assist you with any concerns that you have. We are seeking anyone with dash cam footage of 3 Essex Street or at Essex Street and the surrounding streets uh, of Woodville Gardens uh, during uh, the evening of Wednesday the 6th or Thursday the 7th to contact uh, police through Crime Stoppers. Please help the family find answers to what has occurred in the early hours of Thursday morning. If you have information, please contact police to allow us to solve this murder. In respect to that, please contact Crime Stoppers on 1800 333 000. If you have any questions, I'm happy to take those. Have any suspects in mind at the moment? Uh, we've identified a number of persons of interest. Uh, those persons in, of interest have been spoken to yesterday. Uh, they assisted police with our inquiries, uh, and at this time, uh, we've discounted their involvement. Uh, at, at this time, extensive CCTV uh, review and canvas has been conducted. Uh, that is continuing and will be ongoing 
uh, but I can't provide specific information at this time regarding what has been located on that CCTV. Look, we're, we're following up a number of lines of inquiry in respect to who uh, may be involved, uh, but I can't provide specifics as to uh, the identities of those people at this time. Uh, no, at, at this time, I don't believe so. Certainly, um, we believe that the people or persons who are responsible may uh, have been known uh, to Bill. Um, there is uh, some information uh, that cannabis was involved in respect to uh, this incident, and we're making follow-up inquiries in respect to that. Uh, what I can tell you is that um, uh, items uh, usually used to cultivate cannabis have been removed from a number of premises associated to uh, Bill. Uh, those items appear to be from historical um, cultivation of cannabis, but our inquiries are certainly focused to a degree around the cultivation of cannabis and the sale of cannabis. Sorry, did you say a number of premises? Uh, there are two premises on Essex Street uh, that are linked to Mr Fraggus. Does that mean you believe that uh, we're certainly keeping an open mind uh, in respect to whether that is a motive uh, and it's probably a good time to remind the public that uh, any sale or involvement in the drug trade uh, certainly exposes you to um, uh, risk uh, and risk of violence in respect to your involvement with that trade. Does Bill have a history of police in regards to drug involvement? Look, um, Bill is known in respect to historically being involved uh, to some cultivation of cannabis. Uh, but they are historical, uh, and certainly those are a number of one of aspects uh, that we're looking at. What can you tell us about uh, Bill um, in terms of his family and, and involvement in the community? What can you tell us about his background? Yeah, look, as I said before, he was a long term resident um, uh, of the street uh, and uh, had previously resided in the suburb for a long period of time. Um, but I'm not prepared to go into further details at this time in, in, in respect to more specifics. Is there any other active scenes or searches other than? Uh, not at this time. Can you confirm whether there's one person behind the murder or are there a group of people involved in this? Uh, look, it's certainly something that we're keeping an open mind and as I said earlier, uh, this is the very early stages of our inquiries, uh, so I'm not at liberty to provide specific information in respect to that. You did mention uh, persons of interest there, so you said that they've been ruled out, so does that mean you've no longer got any people of interest or what can you tell us? Uh, there were two, uh, two persons of interest that were spoken to yesterday. Uh, inquiries were made in relation to their potential involvement. They have been discounted, um, but I won't be going into specific uh, lines of inquiry that we are conducting today. Have his immediate family been assisting as well? They certainly have. They've provided um, extensive assistance to us. And the fire, how, how, what can you know about how that was started? Sorry? The fire. Uh, what I can tell you is that a, a passerby um, shortly before uh, 4.05 uh, uh, on Thursday morning observed flames from the front yard of the house. Uh, we, we know that uh, a jerry can had been set alight uh, on the front uh, grass of that property. Uh, we subsequently suspect, obviously, that petrol uh, was used um, to start that fire. Is it correct to say that the murder happened shortly before the fire was started, or did it happen days before? Uh, our, our inquiries are uh, focusing around uh, Bill's movements, mm -hmm. uh, but we suspect at this time that uh, Bill was murdered shortly before the fire was started. Is there any suggestion as to how the murderer or murderers may have got to the scene? Got that'll, that'll form part of our um, CCTV canvas and inquiries, and I'm, I'm not prepared to provide further information at this time in respect to that. Bill has uh, extended family that live within the area, uh, but I, I, I'm not going to go into details um, about the specifics of his extended family. Did police believe he was murdered at the home? Sorry? Did, did police believe he was murdered at the home? Uh, at this time, we, we suspect um, that that may have occurred there, yes. Okay. 